Ciao from Italy, from Scopoliti 1887, my name is Giuliana. Last time my colleague introduced you six luxury tableware ideas and if you haven't seen it yet, so we will put links somewhere here. And today I would like to give you some traditional tips on how to set a formal dinner table. I think each of you had at least one festive occasion and had to deal with these tableware settings, but had absolutely no idea on how to do this. So today I will give you some advices on how to do it in a correct way. To simplify the whole arrangement as a tablecloth, we decided to use this white runner. And the first and the major step, the most important one, is to put the charger. The charger is the plate of 30-33 cm and uh, it has not only aesthetic uh, function, but uh, it has to be put just a little bit from the edge of the table like in basically an inch and uh, it indicates uh, not only uh, the place setting but as well uh, it gives you the idea on uh, how the guests should be positioned on the table and usually you have to put it just uh, in front in the of the middle of the chair The next step is to choose the dinner plate, usually it's of 28-29 cm and we have to put it exactly in the center of the charger. If the soup is going to be served, you have to put the soup plate right on the top of the dinner plate, like this. The bread plate, usually of 17-18 cm, is usually positioned to the left of the charger, like this. This is the dessert plate and it has to be used uh, right after the main courses, so uh, it has to be positioned uh, instead of the dinner, the soup plate and other plates on the charger. Now let's move on to cutlery. The, of course, the choice of the cutlery, of the forks, uh, spoons, depends on what type of food you will serve. Uh, so uh, the first one, of course, uh, thing to remember is that you have to position the cutlery from the outside to the inside, so the uh, from what you will start and the, the last dish of, with what you will finish your uh, so the main the cutlery for the main dish has to be right near the charger. Put the table knife on the right of the charger and the table fork on the left and it has to be the equal distance from the edge of the baseline of the table. Then take the tablespoon and put it right near the table knife and the cutting edge of the of the table knife has to be towards the charger and not the guests and the next one is the dessert knife it has to be put on the top of the charger and the, the dessert uh, fork uh, right on the top of the knife like this besides do you know that there is a curious fact uh, regarding the soup plate and the soup spoon. The soup plate, when you want to finish the soup, has to be inclined slightly, no, not towards you, but toward the center of the table. And as well, the soup spoon has to be used not on the edge, but from the wide side of the spoon, like this. Now let's pass directly to the glassware. We decided to use for the wine that accompanies our main course this beautiful romer in this light green color. And we will put it exactly here uh, above the table knife. And uh, for water, we decided to use the crystal tumbler to make it more modern and fashionable, this table setting. Uh, but usually, if you want to make it more classy, uh, it's preferable to use the stemware, and that is the glass uh, with the uh, long foot. There is another interesting 
fact regarding this beautiful light green romer uh, it was basically used in the 17th century in Rhineland but the peculiarity of this glass was that it was used not to serve the main course drink but to serve the drink uh, the wine of its own production where it was tasted and uh, lately uh, people started to use this uh, glass to create more fancy and vivid look to the table setting and for example for the 10th anniversary of Saint Louis uh, they used uh, this glass but in deep blue color uh, to uh, celebrate this beautiful event and the, the table setting became really stunning and amazing and we will put some images right here Finally, you may add a personal touch by arranging the details of the table. You may add some flowers, some centerpiece, a candlestick like this one in clear crystal. You may put the clothes, a napkin on the top of the table uh, just to personalize even more uh, this beautiful table arrangement. So the dining area we have used for this beautiful table setting is from the newest collection uh, released in 2022 from Swarovski and Rosenthal collaboration with the beautiful name Zignum in this green uh, color fern and the stemware uh, is from San Louis brand, the cutlery from Sambonet and the candlestick is from Baccarat uh, brand. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed this formal table setting and if this video will reach 50 likes we will uh, put uh, some other table setting uh, upon your request. Thank you so much again and of course don't forget to subscribe and put the like button. Thank you and bye bye.